ओके सो हे दिस इज समीर श्रीवास्तव एंड दिस इज द प्रोजेक्ट फॉर कोडिंग एंड जा स्केल टेस्ट इट्स एन अलार्म क्लॉक वे यूजर कैन सेट एनी टाइम एंड वेन द क्लॉक हिट्स द अलार्म टाइम देन द अलार्म शुड टर्न ऑन एंड इट शुड गिव एन अलर्ट एंड देन द अलार्म शुड स्टार्ट टाइम can stop the alarm using this stop alarm button and we can also delete the alarm from here so let's see how uh, this is working uh, so i have hosted this on uh, github so let's see the code for it okay so the structure for it is first what i did i have made a main uh, container which is the wrapper in which all this stuff is uh, put first of all this h1 this is the uh, current time it keeps on changing every time every second uh, it shows the current time and then there's a form which takes in input from the user as r minutes and seconds and then there's a div which contains two button which is set alarm and stop alarm and when a user press the set alarm this uh, then the alarm should be set then there's a div for uh, which contains an unordered list uh, this list is it is an upcoming alarm list where we can set multiple alarms and it will keep on adding in this list so this was the whole structure and let's see the javascript file for it okay so in javascript file what i did is first there's a function which is called a ring what it does it will play the audio and also it will show the alert when the clock hits the alarm time then there's a function called update time which will keep on updating the real time the current time of the alarm clock uh, the alarm clock and then there's a function uh, it is uh, called format time and what it does is uh, if my number is less than 10 which means like 9 8 o'clock then it should append 0 before it so it should make 0 9 0 8 like that okay so there's a then there's a function called stop alarm which will stop the alarm then this uh, event listener uh, what it does is it's remove it removes the alarm from the upcoming alarms list when the delete alarm is uh, delete alarm button is clicked and then there's a function called remove what it does is it removes the alarm from the alarm list array uh, array um and then there's a function called add new alarm which adds the new alarm to the upcoming alarm lists as a new a new list item and then there's a event listener which sets a new alarm whenever the form is submitted it will set the new alarm whenever the form is submitted and then we are calling the update time function every second using the set interval Uh, function of the java okay so it will keep on updating the real time of the alarm clock so uh, this was all about the javascript uh, file and then i have also put the approach for this alarm what we are doing here is uh, when a user sets the alarm the alarm time gets pushed into an array i have maintained an array where the alarm time uh, gets pushed and whenever the current time or the real time is equal to the uh, any element of the array then mm, a function will get called which will play the alarm and also give an alert then when we press the delete alarm button what will happen the alarm will get removed from the array as well as the upcoming alarm list so this is how let's let me demonstrate it once more uh, 08 and let's say for 30 okay so when the clock hits this time it should give an alert and also play the audio oh i'm sorry it's 27 07 8 and then let's say 50 Okay. So let's wait for three more seconds, and it should give an alert. Yep, and gives us an alert and starts playing the audio. We can stop that audio from this stop alarm button. We can delete these alarms from this delete alarm button. It will get removed from the upcoming alarm lists. Uh, this was all about this project. Thank you.